Hi, I'm Joan Mazat from Container Solutions here at the Ball Horticultural Company. We're really proud of our program because what we do is field test these containers from Memorial Day all the way through August. And they don't make our program unless all the components are shining bright and playing well with each other throughout the entire summer. The other thing about our committee, it's made up of several team members who all have full-time positions here at Ball. What does that mean? That means we don't have the time to baby, prune, clean, fed head, or be very precise about our containers. We're relying on the genetics to perform outstandingly. And what does this mean? This means great performance for a novice gardener who is just stepping into um, horticulture and also something to think about those busy gardeners who don't have the time to baby their plants. So we want to harness the use of the genetics to harmoniously work together to bring success to the end consumer. And now let's uh, take some time and show you some of our favorites from this season. All right, let's start off with something that is perfect for the shade. I really love this combination because in all reality, there's really nothing to do with it besides give it appropriate water and feed at, this, at the right time. So let's start off with Begonia Griffin. This begonia has a great capacity to get to a phenomenal size. Um, I love Griffin because of the outstanding color on the back of the foliage plus the silver. It makes it a great item to mix and match with several different shade items. Kong Junior, Kong Junior Scarlet. This one's a lot of fun with to work in combination because of the phenomenal edging, giving me a lot of opportunities to mix and match again and marry those colors perfectly in harmony with yet another begonia, the begonia canary wings. I love canary wings because the great chartreuse color brightens up the deepest shade area and the outstanding scarlet flowers really, really make the color pop. Orange, this is Mistral Orange Begonia Double. It is outstanding. Why? Because it has a nice, awesome habit. It's clean, great color, double flower, makes it unique. It holds its place as a more delicate feature within the container, but yet still has enough power to work with some of the larger genetics. And let's just go ahead and make that a simple pairing of a perennial Delamium White Nancy. Something's been in the industry standard as a ground cover and it, it can work as a perennial, but there's absolutely no reason why we cannot utilize it in containers. The silver is very important to go ahead and match back to the color of the silver within the Griffin Begonia. So this combination basically water, feed, and forget about it. Let's talk about some phenomenal trends in container gardening. Tropical plants. Tropical plants are all their age on the indoors, and there's no reason why you cannot use those plants also on the outdoors. So we have phenomenal opportunities with using the tropicals because it's giving us the ability to pick up colors and foliage that we can't do with any other annuals or perennials. So in this case, we're going to utilize the Croton Nervia. The Nervia has this phenomenal red salmon undertones, which gives us a great opportunity to showcase the big bounce red, a phenomenal new interspecific impatient and also at the same time allow us to welcome back impatience to the garden utilizing the beacon coral because the colors are absolutely perfectly matched and again making a harmonious color blend with excellent color contrast texture you name it and let's have even a little more fun we're going to be utilizing the pathos hawaiian you normally would see that as an indoor container garden, but these plants are very vigorous outdoors and as this matures, this will give me my trailing cascade effect that we would normally see with more traditional plants. But when these plants are out in the wild, they really can even take over a tree. So in this case, don't be shy, utilize tropical plants in your outdoors and don't feel the responsibility to bring them in. Enjoy them outdoors, treat them as an annual and look forward to a great new year in the next spring. Okay, let's talk about go big or go home. This is definitely go big. But of course, if you had a smaller container, 
you could downsize how many plants you put per pot and the coleus could get an occasional pinch back which would allow you to maintain this on a smaller scale. However, this is definitely big. I love big. We're gonna start off with our height element. Our height element is Juncus javelin. There's several Juncuses that are uh, in the series. However, this is the one that gives you the great phenomenal height. It is a very flexible plant. It can be utilized for sun or shade. Actually, uh, Juncuses can be utilized as a marginal pond item. And in this case, this is gonna be a part sun uh, container. And we're gonna utilize our phenomenal Whopper bronze leaf rose. Whopper is just such a flexible plant. It can do great container work. It can go into the sun. It can go into the shade. It's phenomenal in the landscape. And again, one of those no must, no fuss type of items that our consumers will be extremely successful with. Coleus, coleus is color. No flowers, but it is color. And this is Coleosaurus. Coleosaurus is aptly named. It is definitely a giant dinosaur. The color though, again, allows us to do great matching with the solar power lime heart, picking up that great chartreuse color. And here we have our Big Bounce series. This is the Lavender Flame. Great for parts on use, great color. The depth of the purple matches the strength of the color within the Coleosaurus. And again, something that even the novice gardener can be extremely successful with and the more experienced gardener can really show their muscle. 